Because I st also studied here at your school, um, I think that I my work is very different because of that, uh, because I didn't study in a classical academy, and um, I always uh, kind of mixed a lot of different forms together, and is I'm very interested in this uh, finding new ways. For me, art is about exploring not about reproduction of what has already been done, not about doing something that um, are conventions and rules, but, about, uh, but more like finding something new, some, your own voice. So then I wrote the story for this script, also with another script writer, and I invited Emily Pijar, who is the animator, uh, to work with me. I met her a few years ago in one festival, and that's why these festivals are extremely important for you. That you go there and you meet people, and you find crazy interesting people from all over the world that you can collaborate with. <laughs> Silence, uh, which is a short film about uh, the irony of uh, hearing aids. They are meant to help uh, hearing impaired people to hear, but sometimes they uh, make them hear too much and uh, uh, make uh, deaf people, hearing impaired people, too overwhelmed. Uh, so the short films aim to uh, like simulate. Uh, the anxiety uh, and the sensations that uh, these people feel. So we did uh, Anima Mina with the limitation uh, in our university course uh, in which we, we couldn't use the, the video but only stills and images. And this actu actually brought me to understand better the uh, ways of expression and uh, most of all experimental expression. And so we started to uh, think about uh, memory, which is the main theme of uh, the film. And uh, actually this uh, limitation became uh, uh, some kind of help to uh, uh, make us understand what memory was and to make the people uh, understand what our character, which is real because it's a documentary, so what our character was thinking and what maybe uh, it was in reality. 